All right, thank you for joining me once again, everyone. Today, we are dealing with telomeres. What are telomeres? Why is it important to understand telomeres? How might they affect our health span and our lifespan? Um, all of that. So stick around. Right, here we go. What are telomeres? Telomeres are part of the DNA inside the nucleus of every single cell in your body. They are depicted in the imagery behind me as the purple bits. They're not really purple, by the way. They're just depicted that way so you can see them. They are the end portions of the chromosomes. Think of them like those plastic ends on shoelaces that stop the shoelace from fraying. Telomeres basically do the same job. They are X numbers of base pairs on DNA that kind of lock the, the DNA molecule together and stop it from fraying, falling to pieces. Every time a cell divides, the telomere gets slightly shorter. So as you live, as your cells divide, 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 as cells do, those telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter. To a point where a telomere in a given cell or in a given chromosomes will get so short that they no longer function in terms of tying those DNA molecules together, and that DNA will now disintegrate to all intents and purposes, rendering that cell unable to undertake cell process or to divide still further and that cell will then die off and become a thing of the past and so there is no further um, progeny or issue if you like from that cell line it's done with if that cell line is not replaced with a new cell line then the cells that were making up those tissues in your body will no longer be there and the functions that those cells were undertaking will no longer be undertaken this is one of the reasons it certainly isn't the only reason but it's one of the reasons that human beings and other animals and plants age become older um, our tissues begin to break down, our organ systems begin to break down, we become grey and wrinkled. Um, this is one of the reasons behind it, is this the fact that telomeres get shorter and shorter every time cells divide, and as such, that's one of the things that determines both the health span and also directly the life span of a given individual. Now, it's not all bad news. There is some good news here, and the good news is this. Old cell lines, damaged cell lines, cell lines with short telomeres, cells that have been injured by physical trauma, chemical trauma, infectious process, any of those things, these cell lines can be replaced. How does the body do that? Well, it's a process of releasing an adult stem cell from your bone marrow, which will enter the bloodstream, having been released, and that stem cell will float around your system in your blood until it encounters a tissue in need of renewal or repair. And when it sees that tissue, it will bind to that tissue and differentiate into a new cell to replace the old one. And then that new cell, having differentiated into an adult cell line of whatever kind is required, will then start to divide, as cells do, and replace the old cell. So you think, well, why do we age at all then? Why aren't all cells just replaced? Well. Here's the answer. As you age, it's not that you're running out of stem cells. 
you will die with the same number of stem cells in your bone marrow as you were born with. What happens is your ability to release them from the bone marrow to the blood drops, such that when you are my tender young age, 50, nearly 51, your ability to release adult stem cells, should you not intervene in some way, is decreased by 50%. When you get to 70, you've got 30% of your normal natural ability to release stem cells left, and so on. You can continue to do the math for yourself on those. Okay? So, if there was a way that we could encourage the body to rediscover or reinvigorate its ability to release those adult stem cells once again, that would be a great thing, wouldn't it? That would mean that there would be a higher likelihood, if we've got a higher supply, I guess, of circulating adult stem cell resources in our bloodstream, then the likelihood that any given tissue that is tired and need of renewal or repair will encounter such a stem cell, or will bind up with that stem cell, and that replacement will take place. Thus, staving off old father time and replacing that particular cell line, thus working against the ravages of time on our bodies. So I guess there's been a lot of research in this area done over a number of decades purely for this reason, that absolutely it clearly is a very good idea that we increase the availability of circulating adult stem cell resources. There are a number of methodologies which are possible, some of which come with attendant risks, some of which are just basically not particularly effective, and some of which require significant effort on your part to achieve. I personally, in my research in this area, have come across a method which is not difficult to achieve, does not apparently come with any significant risk of any kind, um, and is very, very effective with peer-reviewed evidence to support the claim in terms of releasing adult stem cells to the bloodstream. Um, it is a company called Cerul, which provides a number of oral supplementation products which are nutraceutical in nature, and these products are backed with 15 years or more of peer-reviewed research as to their quality, efficacy, and safety. I have become involved in marketing their product range to the end consumers in the marketplace, for about four years now, and um, I was a, actually a retail customer for this company for roughly about 10 years prior to that, I think it was. So I really do have a lot of experience with this particular product range in this company, and I can tell you they're great. I can tell you that these products are awesome and you should get them, but I should also mention to you that there are business opportunities available. For those of you who are a little bit uh, business minded and who are looking for opportunities for the production of additional and passive income streams, there are, there are definitely opportunities and you should contact me if you are interested in these. If however you are just purely interested in staving off old father time and working against this um, slow slide into senescence of your tissues, this, this slow breakdown of your body function, then you'll get yourself onto the product range using the link on the screen right now. If what I've said to you so far in this video hasn't convinced you yet, let's get back to the main point of the video about telomeres, shall we? And how they shorten every time the cells divide. Here's the thing. There is an enzyme which is present in the adult stem cells called telomerase. What telomerase does is it rebuilds telomeres. So every time the adult stem cell divides in the bone marrow to provide a daughter cell for release to the bloodstream, that would shorten 
the telomere length of the stem cells. What the stem cells do to protect their integrity and their numbers in the bone marrow is they have this telomerase which rebuilds the telomere. That's why you will die with the same number of adult stem cells in your bone marrow that you were born with. That's why adult stem cells are, to all intents and purposes, an immortal cell line. As soon as the adult stem cell differentiates into an adult cell line, then the telomerase is ejected, and it will stop rebuilding its own telomeres, for obvious reason. We don't want cancer, and that's what would be happening if these cells, adult stem cells, kept on dividing and dividing indefinitely. Okay? But the adult stem cell, when it differentiates into a new adult stem, stem uh, into an adult cell line, I should say, it does that with a full length telomere. That new cell is a brand new cell. Biological age, zero. So if I have a worn out heart cell and an adult stem cell finds that worn out heart cell and replaces it with a new cell, that new cell and all the downline um, progeny from that cell line will start out with a biological age zero. Powerful. Incredibly powerful. So. Having watched this video, you now have enough information to convince you absolutely to go to the link at the bottom of the screen right now and get yourself onto this product right now. And you will start potentially having an impact on your health span, possibly your lifespan. I do need to say that the FDA requires me to disclaim that I am unable to make any therapeutic claim regarding this product of any kind. Ergo, I am not doing so. I'm merely telling you what the science tells us about what adult stem cells can do and have demonstrably been shown to actually do in reality in the human body. So I would suggest you take advantage of this. If the cost of the product, which is not particularly high, by the way, by means of some of these nutraceutical products, especially not for the power that this product has, but if the finances are an issue for you, then you should contact me because we'll get you started up as a business owner and we will show you how under company rules you can qualify very easily actually to get your product for free. Free is very, very cheap, especially for the power of this product. So that's where we need to have our attentions directed. So I've directed them there. Hope this has been useful to you. Hope you get what I've said to you. Hope you understood what I've said to you. If not, do please contact me for, for further explanations, to ask me further questions. In the meantime, good luck. Whatever you're doing, do it well. Do it with full health span and full lifespan, I'd suggest. Get into it. See you soon on the beaches. Ciao for now.